Good day, YouTubers. We have this walking iris in this pot that's been repotted several years in a row now. I've got an area here where I can plant it. I want to turn some soil here today and I'm in the soil with some potting soil and see if I can get all, all the rocks and grass dug out of here where maybe it'll be a suitable garden bed. There's an iris there that I just planted at random without working the soil or anything last year and it grew really nice this year. I don't know how much I'll get done but I'm going to dig on the dirt. Uh, later in the fall we might put some tulips in there with them. It's not a, that big an area but I've been meaning to do this. My wife's got four tulips she bought from the store. They've all dried up and I don't think you can replant them. But I'm going to stick them in the dirt anyway. They sure ain't doing no good in that pot. So, I'll get my shovel and start digging. I've been working on my video process with my Windows 7. And I've downloaded a program called What is the name of the darn program? Can't think of it. It eludes me. And then it said, well, in order to use this, you gotta unload, download this other program from Microsoft, .NET Framework. So I'm still working on that, but I stopped my computer in to come out here and play in the dirt. Let's see, I can't dig too deep close to that azalea. I'll get into the roots. Let's just start right here. Well, I hit a rock already on the first scoop. I knew there'd be rocks here, because when I built this house, I backfilled all this with a backhoe, and I just pushed everything in that hole that was around here, including my rocks. Maybe I'll come back with you after I work this area a little bit. Well, my friends, I got more than I intended to do today. This Georgia clay was hard as a rock. I've been pulling up briars and they've been pulling on me. I got bleeding everywhere. Uh, I turned that soil over right there. I'm not going to get a whole lot more done today. I will dump this dirt I got here. I had to dig a lot of St. Augustine grass and briars out of there. That was a mess. A little, little weed eating around here, so it looks like I did something anyway. This digging is the hardest part. I won't get anything planted today, but at least I got the soil worked. I'm going to save a little bit. Save a few drops. I'll just work that in. Actually, there ain't no hurry. I can do it tomorrow whenever I go to plant. It's all I'm going to do today. I don't know what you call these thorny things here. But they will eat you up. Whew. Now I got to clean up my mess before I quit.
work on it some more tomorrow. Natural born Georgia rock. Let's clean that up and save it for around my flower patch. They gone. some more tomorrow. One of the neighbors gave us a poinsettia from last year. I guess they got it for Christmas or something. It was in a pot, had new leaves coming on it. So about a week or two ago, I planted it out here. It looks like it's gonna make it. You know, gardening can be hard work if you let it take a hold of you. I do so much and then I quit. That's all we're gonna do today, my friend. My friends, other than do a little video editing and go eat supper. I imagine most gardeners have got power tools for that kind of stuff. A little tiller or something. My tiller's out there, all the pieces. Need to fix it. This St. Augustine grass I got coming up around here is just sparse in places where I put it out in plugs from one of the neighbors. Years ago was trimming around his walkway and said plant these in your yard and it'll grow a little sprig of St. Augustine and I did in some places it really took over here army worms come and killed all my stuff in the front yard but it's coming back again just about conclude the vlog for today I didn't have a whole lot to say did I oh.